Okay, on with the journal with um, Back to Basics that we've been doing. Just finished the little folio, so, well I haven't totally finished it yet, but I've finished the video. And what I'll do next is decorate it and then do a flip through of both of them together. Um, right, so we need to get on with this, so I thought I'd just put some sticky notes through when I remembered. I thought um, a corner pocket or a tuck. And I thought that would look still nice underneath some vellum perhaps. So I thought we'd make a little, you know, almost like a vellum pocket out of this. Okay, but it'll only be that size. Yeah. But it's just, honestly, this, again, this is tracing paper. So I haven't done anything to it. And I think I can get two pockets out of that maybe. Um, you can actually stick these down with sorry i'm miles away now i'm thinking uh washi tape you know if need be i tend to stitch mine but i shall do it with washi tape today and see what we can do right, i'm going to cut that in half make two out of that i think okay and what i do here so I need a, I need a little top. So I cut down maybe a quarter of an inch, something like that, just sort of in that crease there. Okay, just cut down a bit like that. That's going to be the top of our pocket. Okay, and I will fold that over where I've cut down to, like that. Okay, and then I'll fold up again. I will fold that in half, like that. No, no, no pressure on there. Just hold it together, and then, then sort of, you can either round the corners, but I just tend to just, just do that. See that? Okay, and then. When it's opened, it's very skew with. <laughs> so we will do it again. Okay, just put them together. Just come down a little bit further. Doesn't look like I've done that. I'm going to turn it over and come down now. There we go. That is better. <laughs> right, so one of them. And come down like that and then that's your back right and it's just a little pocket okay so i'm going to glue this one down here just a little bit of glue in the end i so say if you happen to see the glue get your washi paper out or anything like that that can cover that flap up it's not a problem So I'm purposely putting glue so you can see it. Okay, and then I'll show you. But you just put some washi tape over it. Well, it just gives a little bit of, you know, substance on that edge then. Okay. Right. Let's have a look. Well, I've got some, oh, I've got a really lovely one. That would look lovely, wouldn't it? But let's have a look. So you can stick them down. You know, like half and half that way. Yeah. That can go. Yeah. Covers all the glue up. Again, gives another little layer for protection. We're doing a quick little pocket. Like that. And I'm going to glue the three sides. Oh, 
two sides, I should say. Anything like this, I tend to stitch. I'm trying to do it, and just in case you haven't got a sewing machine, but and I'll make sure that lines up there. Okay, make it equal. I shall do the same on the other side. Yes, I haven't covered that because you can always put a little snippet down there or something like that afterwards, yeah. Okay, so now we can actually glue that pocket down, but I'm not going to glue this side down. I'm going to leave that one open. I'm just going to glue down here and here, okay. I need, looks like I need to squeeze my bottle because we are escaping. So just let that glue tap down and then I'll squeeze the air out of it. And then put that on here. Okay, and then that's fine for a tag. I'm not sure whether I got any to fit in there for now. Look, I don't think they're all going to be too big. Right, so what I'll do is I'll just make one out of here. All right, and I reckon about there. Just come in a bit. Like that. Turn over, cut that off. And then let's mark the top where I want it to be, maybe there. As it was back to front, and then because it's quite thin, I can cover it over. And then we'll do that. Weird is that? There we go. Instant tag. Yeah, this is one of my misprints. Printed the back upside down. I didn't have the settings right. And then they all printed on the back as well. And I didn't mean to. <laughs> and it was upside down. Yes, it happens to me as well. So, utilize it. I don't know why I in, um, glued up both sides then. You only needed to do one. Let's 
just going to move that out a bit to add that for something else. And these sort of ones really do need hole reinforcers, all right, but I'm not going to worry about that now because I tend to do that at the end. I'll go through all the tags and put them on, so at the moment that is just going to sit in there like that, okay? And then we also have a tuck spot for something else at the back. Not so much that because we don't need anything too big on that because we've got that nice pattern. Might even be plain. Might look nice. This is an example. Okay, and then you could add some lace to say something like this. And then you've just got a, you know, a very simple tuck spot and journaling card there that's useful, yeah, with a tag. And that's decorated another page, and then you've got a journaling spot there, you know, for doing what you need to do. So that needs all flattening out, but I'll leave it there for now because I quite like it. All right. I'm leaving that. Um, here I was going to do something else in a minute. So I'm looking for my yellow little things. I'll get them done first. Oh, should we do the pocket? I'll do the pockets, double pocket first. Okay, so I've cut two of those out and they're going to go so side by side. Yeah. We'll get those done. So both need inking up. And I think I've actually done it. Yes, I have. So what we need to do is fold them over. And normally I do these on paper, but again, <laughs> I wasn't having a good printing day. <laughs> I printed these onto only very, very thin cards, so <laughs> it was just one of them days. It's when I print something else on card and then I forget to change it, so, and then, oh, I know it. Set my printer, well, I actually, it was really funny, because I set my printer to do um, a copy of something, and I must, <laughs> I must have had a note on it. And I set it and walked off and went and done something at home, you know, just sort of walked out and... Went and got lunch and come back and I had 10 copies. <laughs> yeah. And I think it was the lavender and something kit. So I've got 10 copies of that. So I will be offering them for sale. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Help. Right, just give them a bit of a burnish. And I quite le like leaving these tabs out, actually. You know, like that. But for this sort of thing, you need them in because they won't fit. I think that's why I started doing two pockets the same. So I could do this. Because I was feeling I didn't like it when they were two different pockets. I wanted them exactly the same. So I've done this many times. So sort of put them about there. Okay, I just need to ink up those edges though. I mean, most of it's done, so it's just one edge that you've got to ink up. I tried to do that so that it would save a little bit of on inking. <laughs> okay, and then all they do is stick them in there. And I glue down here. I mean, um, yeah, you can put, like with the flap, I, I did do some with the flap, but I find it makes the pocket too deep, and then things tend to sort of like flap around in it so you don't really need that you just glue that down and plus it was the pockets had to become slightly smaller to get it fit it in the a4 page so usually come down a little bit there i think that's about right let's have a look maybe a bit more just to come up a bit more there we go. Again, because we're near here, nothing too thick. 
can be quite delicate. Your double pocket. And then if it's a nice tag, all right, which we'll worry about that later because I'll do a whole video on some tags as well as, I mean, you, know, you get loads with the kit anyway, but I will make some too because I, you know, I love making them. Oh, I forgot what I'd done with all those. Yeah, it's quite a nice kit, that one. Right, okay. Did I have any more yellow stickers? Yep, I've got one here. Uh, okay, on with the double pocket then. Right, you just find the middle and you mark it, okay. Which is there. And then I'm going to glue this down here. This down there, it's quite thin, this piece of paper, so we're definitely going to need to reinforce that. All right, for a pocket. So I'll go there. There, and then try and get straight that way. <laughs> Put a double layer of glue on that bit. Okay, and then I'm going to stick that to that page. I'm just going to slightly move it there. That's yeah. Okay. And when you mat this bit, you cover up that. All right. If it's not straight, so don't worry about that. All right. Now we've got double pocket. All right, one there and one there. Okay, let's map that then. I think I might do two separate pieces on that. Let's have a look. Oh, I might keep that one. Something else. Let's have a look. What we've got to go with that. All right, okay. Uh, because I printed that, that was one of my misprints, I put that upside down, so I'm going to use that. All right, I'll just measure my pocket and do two exactly the same pieces of paper to mat. Okay, so that's, I reckon, three and three quarters. Yeah, that should be about the same. By two and a half. That's the two pieces of paper, and they are going to go in here. So I can stick. I mean, I wouldn't suggest another pocket again. You can do, but to be honest, you know, my journals do end up quite thick, so I don't tend to do too many pockets because I do put a lot of stuff in it. But okay, you could have a double pocket there if you wanted. There's loads of choices. You know, you fight, you do in the end find your own little way and little things that you do, and that's great. I'm going to go right up to the top there, so I'm also going to go down right up to the bottom. Okay, and that one. I just got something stuck in there, I think. Get that out now, so I might forget. Like glue. There we go. And the same with this one. Okay, I've stuck that one down, and as you can see, I miscalculated. <laughs> and I got it too short. So, no problem. We can change that again, because this is where you add, you end up. You could put some lace over, all right, your pocket, like that. And no, again, nobody would ever know, okay? It's not the first time I've done that. It definitely wouldn't be the last. So I thought I would show you, instead of cutting another piece out and editing it, I could have done quite easily. No problem. I don't know how that happened. I'm just wondering, because I do like this lace here. I like that one as well. No, it's the, this one. Gosh, I use that so much. I'm going to really miss it when it's all gone. Luckily, I have quite a bit of it, so it's like it's going to be a wonky day today. <laughs> I 
all sorted. Who would know? Eh? Let's make sure I haven't stuck that down. There we go. And again, nice little tuck spot. Okay, we can go in there and in there from one of the flaps that we use to create a flap the other side, don't we? Which is great. Which, I don't know where it is. Yeah. Which is that one. Okay, that's on usually if you haven't got longer pages. You know, I do that out of A4, so. And then that creates a pocket that size. Okay, so that's that one done. Right, these sort of things that are quite thin, I tend to put a bit of lace down here and maybe a tab just to show that you can, you know, open it out. All right, so that's always handy. Um, again, I tend to use, I don't, I'm using this at the moment because I'm using all my stuff like this to create sort of collages and different things like that. So, but the backbones, I'm just using cream. Okay. So that could go there, which again, will strengthen that up. And you can also put a bit of washi tape there or a strip of paper. All right, it's up to you what you do. I don't know what I've got here left. Oh, I've got some here actually. I could make a strip out of that, would look quite nice. Yep, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I'll cut a strip off and put some double-sided sticky tape on the back. I do tend to still use glue because I find in past experience of double-sided tape is after time it does lift, all right? With, because I've noticed that with, you know, some of them in the albums that I've done. And that's why I ended up going to glue. But I just put a bit down there, a bit similar to washi tape really. Just a bead of glue that helps it to stay put. Again, it's just there, and that looks like your washi tape now ish. <laughs> I mean, you can print on, you know, like I've showed people before, you print on vellum and things like that to create your own washi tape, which works beautifully. Okay, and then again, that gives it a little bit of, so you can handle it better. And then I will put a bit of lace on. And should we hang the lace over? Yeah, we will. Okay, and that just sort of, you know, prettifies that page up for journaling a little bit. You don't need to do too much. You can always add more later on in that area. Right, got a bit of a white edge there. So. That's better. Sometimes I do this and go over them all. In case, yeah. Yeah. okay, and we've got another one here. All right, another flip out there. So I would do exactly the same and then add a bit of lace, or maybe add a fit a tab in that one and look quite nice. Right, let's put a little bit of lace down this pocket here, or this flap I should say. For now, might do something else with it later, but all right. Okay, let's have a look. Have I done all the pockets? Not yeah, strength and edges, like I've said here. Okay, so what I'm going to do there is I'm gonna put another bit of lace down there. For now. There we go. That's that one done. This one um, might have a pocket there or something. Okay, just got a bit of paper left and something else. Let's 
pull that over. Just... Okay, and I'm actually going to just trim this one down. I don't want it quite so wide as that. And then put that down there like that. Okay. And then we've got a little tab to hold and flip the page over. Yep, that's it. I'm going to put definitely something on there. I've oh, got loads of places to do things. Oh, it's so nice, that paper. <laughs> right, some more pockets, don't we? Do we have that as a tuck spot there, I think? Yep. So I'm going to glue that one down. A nice strip of paper on that one or something. Okay, so I've cut a strip out of a um, piece of that and that can go down there. And then we've got a nice tuck spot that can hold a nice tag or something. I do like to create different size things going on. I think it makes quite a lot of interest. And I mean, I didn't put loads through the journal on this one because I kept it very basic. So, you know, I'm sort of showing you now really how you can add them and things like that. But if you've already put your journal together, I've inked up the edges. Okay, that goes without saying. All right, most of everything that I put in, I try and ink up. Yes, I do forget. <laughs> Most definitely forget. That would go there. And you can, we've still got, you know, it's kept it on the plainish side. So I can still put um, a cluster on there or something. But, you know, that could go in there. And then you would have that decorated and coming out of there. Maybe decorated here somewhere. But mind you, I do like that flower there. So I'm going to keep that there because that helps me on up the feel um what should we do with this then um yeah i could do with covering that up really i'm not keen so gesso that side and that side and let's let's put something in i know it's it's actually quite nice <laughs> i might leave it yet i love this edge here that's great um i'm just thinking about a pocket here something Look at this bit of paper so I just got this bit of paper here um, I'm just wondering whether that would come a bit of a journaling spot there that could look quite nice but I need to take some of this away so I am going to just say that trusty old credit card Some people are fine leaving these, you know, great. That's how you like it. Please do it. You know, it's like I say, this is my way. Okay. As you know, I've um, just sewed that top bit there. And I had this extra piece that, you know, was lying around. So I thought I'd make that into a pocket. Okay. And I'm going to put a circle in there one there okay so just centralize that bit and ink it all up and that's literally just a piece that was left over okay A bit of writing space that have come in handy and I just thought about this so, so I'll do it now or I forget I thought I might add a bit of color first though with some watercolors because I do this sometimes I use the distress I do use these quite a lot those sort of things you know because I've got quite a few of them and I think they're great for adding a bit of color 
okay but i thought well a lot of you've got watercolors or you've got pencils and things like that so i use this today just to play around and make a little spread up so i just want it to sort of all tie in really so i'm going to use most probably the that color there a bit more now which i think is the sort of nearest okay and i'm going to do a bit of a wash that was good, wasn't that? <laughs> really not my day today. <laughs> Must have touched the brown one. <laughs> good job we got Gesso on. There we go. Thank you, Gesso. I love you. <laughs> reason, another reason why I love Gesso. <laughs> right, let's give that a bit of a wash. Okay, that's all nice and dry. So I've gone ahead and just put that on, on one of the sides there, okay, on the end. All right, because I'm going to wrap the string around that way and then that way, because I've got the way it is. All right, that's what I need to do. Um, I've got these in another video, how I've done them just recently, so I won't go through that again. All right, so what I'm going to do is that needs to be stuck down, sort of, you know, where that is, in line with that, on the back. It doesn't tend to get in the way for some reason. Right. Right, so I'll just, just put a bead of glue. You always tape it down as well, but I don't tend to. Let's just get the middle. Like that. Okay, you must wait for that to dry though. That's all dry, so let's stick that down. So do the three sides like normal. You can't, um, I was just thinking you can't actually tie it on and leave it because it, it won't open. Looking at it, so that goes like so, and then that one as well. Okay, that sits in there quite nicely as it happens. Yeah, better take that out because it's still gluey, still glue in there. All right, just from an odd piece of paper. I may do a little bit of stamping around here somewhere later on. All right. Yeah, well, we definitely need something down here, don't we? Um, I was just thinking whether to... No, I quite like that page as it is. So I'm going to just put some lace down there. For now. I'm going to go and check to see if there's any flaps that need reinforcing now. Another flip page, right? Okay, I'm good. I am because I'll show you that one just to put some more extra pages in. Okay, these are funny shaped papers. I get them out of um, like kids' paper pads, so don't take much notice of it. It's all right. But this is the sort of thing I do. That is going to be there, right? And that creates tuck spot, and then this is going to fold over yeah like that and then we cut off the excess we don't need too many more so usually just sort of make sure that's straight okay like that okay. and that creates another flap is there then that will go over that way yeah then if you fold back on yourself right there that'll tell you where you've got to cut off
and that creates a whole new page all right and it's quite nice because you've got a little secret tuck spot underneath all right just make sure it's it will be okay like that yeah maybe come in a little bit actually here so you can flip it out a bit better but again when i do that i just fold over okay right and this one i shall do the same okay either fold the other way or that way depending what you want fold it over because we can mat that bit if we want to and that was that way so that sits in there that's glued to that and then that's our fold out yeah done it I haven't done fold outs for ages actually. <laughs> so I'm going to have a bit of glue here. Like that. Oh, I'm just looking at the weather and just thinking, oh, I might have a barbecue tonight. There. And a bit done. <laughs> Straighter than me. <laughs> it really does look like I've been drinking. <laughs> Oh dear, yeah, I am a bit shaky sometimes when I do things like this. I think as you get older, yeah, fine motor skills have got go a little bit a -wold. Okay, and then I go in here, okay, and I just check that's nicely sat in there. Okay, no oozing glue, so your pages stick together. <laughs> like that and that and I've got a pocket there which of course stick down that I mean fold the other way as just I don't you know I'm going to cover that up so and sometimes I don't mind to see it if I put it over and then you have a nice little piece you know a little bit of strip of that there now we've got a nice tuck spot that's going to be hidden under there yeah so again, I would either have a bit of lace on there and another tab. So I'll go ahead and do that and add the lace. And then I'll be back. Okay. Okay. So that's added. All right. And then there's the pocket. And I thought it'd look nice if we put that down there for now. So I think it all up. And this is all taken from spare paper, you know, not spare really, but well, I print out, always print out a couple of spare background sheets or something to use in the kit because I think it's, you know, always handy. And then I need that by me so I can level it all up. <laughs> and then we have another pocket and a flip. Yep, we put some on here or we'll do something. At the moment, I'd leave that page as set for stenciling, and then that one would sit like that in there. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I think I need to start adding a few bits of lace, all right, because I want to add a bit more of that on some of these pages because I've got two bits there, so I need to start adding some more now. It's there, so I'll miss a page, and then maybe on this one. Yeah, which I haven't got. Actually, what I'm going to do is I haven't got much of that one. So I'm going to add a piece in here somewhere, just randomly. Oh, yeah, that'll be nice on there. Okay. Okay. Right, then, the laces I get from all over the place, all right? So I pick them up at car boots. Um second-hand shop well, charity shops and oh, yeah different places on ebay and things like that so you know i do hunt around all right so i can't no pacific lace at all all right so i'm going to put some on there i think i'm going to put a piece of cream on that one that one there that look nice i don't want to see something hanging over now Okay, 
right I've got another one more piece of that I'm just got only because I, I'm just checking normally I don't worry but I'm only checking because I've only got a little bit of that so I think I have a piece sort of in here somewhere I'll trim all that off after. Let's have a look. Um, right, that one's um, there. I think I'll put it. Let's have a look. I'll leave that one, I think. And then I'll put a bit of lace on this one. Okay, let's have a look. Yep, and I think I'm going to have another bit down here. I might have something else. I've only got a bit of this left. Oh, what about that? I'm going to put that there on that one. Okay, so down there like that. So we can carry on. Just going to put a bit of acetate. And I want one of them here somewhere. There. Okay. okay. And I'm going to put the thin stuff on that one. And then what I'll do, I'll carry on and then I'll come back to you and you can see what I've done. So you're just randomly doing this now. And have you noticed? No sewing machine. It's very hard for me. 